Lady Anne Jocelyn was thought to be dead. When she comes back to England, not everybody is happy to see her. Then there is a murder. Only Miss Silver can determine who the murderer is, and whether Lady Anne really is who she says she is. One Hundred Books You Must Read, Number 45, The Traveller Returns, by Patricia Wentworth. But Patricia Wentworth is just a nom de plume. Her real name was Dora Amy Ellis. She wrote mystery novels a la Agatha Christie style. Her most well-known detective is Miss Maud Silver. Miss Silver was a governess, but because of her capacities for observation and deduction, she becomes a private detective. She is brought in because nobody would really think her to be a brilliant detective. She can fit right in a household and get everybody to pour their stories into her sympathetic ears. She is somewhat akin to Agatha Christie's Miss Marple in that way, but the idea was not taken from her. The first Miss Silver mystery was published in 1928, and the first full-length Miss Marple mystery wasn't published until 1930. In the Miss Silver mysteries, there is almost always a young couple whose romance is made possible because of Miss Silver's saving the day. The Traveler Returns is my favorite Miss Silver book. It is also sometimes sold under the title She Came Back. You have to watch out for that. A lot of novels from England are sold in North America under different names. Here is a list of all the Miss Silver mysteries with their alternate titles. Miss Silver is also very partial to Tennyson. And now, just a little Tennyson to brighten your day. The Eagle. He clasps the crag with crooked hands, Close to the sun in lonely lands, Ringed with the azure world he stands. The wrinkled sea beneath him crawls, He watches from his mountain walls, And like a thunderbolt he falls.